Friends, today is Wednesday, August 23, 2023. And our verse today is Matthew 14a. And so we've been looking at the role of Christians as salt, invisibly penetrating institutions and social practices and neighborhoods and companies, and uh, both enhancing and preserving. And now that's sort of hidden ministry in many respects. Now we get to a visible ministry, and here it is. You are the light of the cosmos. Uh, the world, word world here is, uh, is even a little small for, uh, for, for Jesus. He tells these uh, Galilean peasants on a hillside, uh, they've, they've speculated that it's in a particular location at the Sea of Galilee. I've been, had the opportunity to visit there, and it's kind of a natural amphitheater where Jesus could be down by the beach and the shore or on a boat, and he could project his voice, and it could be heard by people who are kind of sitting in a semicircle around him. So picture all these fishermen and farmers that are gathered from this area. Galilee was quite populous at the time. Um, the historian Josephus, lest we think it's just kind of a rural area with tiny villages, counted 204 villages that had populations of 15,000 or more. So it's probably quite a big crowd that was listening to Jesus. He was a bit of a sensation even at the beginning of his ministry. And he says to this group, you are the light of the world. Uh, no doubt the first century visitors were shocked to think of themselves in global terms, as a, that Jesus had a global vision for them. But now sitting here a uh, hundred generations on, things have changed, haven't they? It was a spot on prediction. Those first disciples did initiate the world's first and greatest and longest global movement. Uh, that's what Christianity is. When you take time to study the impact of uh, Christianity across history and across the world, uh, it's remarkable and it's unprecedented. And of course, Christians didn't get everything right. There are dark uh, episodes in our history and in our outlook, but where we were faithful to Jesus, the impact was unbelievable in areas like education and medicine, politics, uh, and social movements, all kinds of areas. So uh, imagine Jesus is speaking these words to you today. You, daughter, son, are the light of the world. Let's pray. Gracious God, don't let me fear acknowledging my faith in you. Help me to shine in my everyday tasks and relationships. Amen.